The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Volker Turk, uh, voices his deep concern over the high and continuing number of arbitrary detentions, as well as disproportionate use of force reported in the aftermath of the presidential elections in Venezuela and the resulting climate of fear. It is especially troubling that so many people are being detained, accused or charged, either with incitement to hatred or under counterterrorism legislation. Criminal law must never be used to limit unduly the rights to freedom of expression, peaceful assembly and association. According to official statements, over 2,400 people have been arrested since the 29th of July. This figure includes the arbitrary detention of protesters, human rights defenders, adolescents, people with disabilities, members of the opposition, or those perceived to be connected to them, as well as people who serve as electoral observers accredited by opposition parties in polling stations. In most of the cases documented by our office, the detainees have not been allowed to appoint lawyers of their choice or to have contact with their families. Some of these cases would amount to enforced disappearances. The High Commissioner calls for the immediate release of everyone who has been arbitrarily detained and for fair trial guarantees for all detainees. The disproportionate use of force by law enforcement officials and the attacks on demonstrators by armed individuals supporting the government, some resulting in deaths, must not be repeated. All deaths in the context of protests must be investigated and those responsible held accountable in line with due process and fair trial standards.